In the previous presentation, I explained the pinch of voltage. I explained the pinch of voltage. It is represented by V subscript P. Pinch of voltage is drain to source voltage when the two depletion regions appear to touch each other the two depletion regions will never touch each other but when they appear to touch each other the corresponding vds drain to source voltage is called as pinch of voltage we also discussed current idss which is drain to source current when vgs gate to source voltage is equal to zero volt and vds and vds is greater than magnitude of pinch voltage vp we also obtained the plot between drain current id and drain to source voltage vds we obtained id versus vds plot when when vgs was equal to zero volt so these were the three topics we discussed in the last lecture and if you remember i gave you one homework problem and in this homework problem i asked you to tell me the effect on effect on depletion region depletion region and effect on drain current id when VDS drain to source voltage is increased beyond the pinch of voltage VP. I got few answers in the comment section and in this presentation we will discuss this problem and once you understand the solution of this problem you will also know how to use JFET as a current source. So let's begin with the explanation. First we will discuss effect on depletion region. We know what is a pinch of voltage. We know why depletion region is increasing more at the top and less at the bottom. We know the reason. And now we will understand what will happen to the depletion region if we increase VDS beyond the pinch voltage. You already know we can distribute the potential across this channel this is the n channel and if vds is equal to 2 volt then potential here at this point is equal to 2 volt potential here is equal to 1.5 volt this is for explanation purpose only i have considered four resistances in this n channel and all these four resistances are having value equal to small r so potential at this point will be equal to 1.5 volt at this point potential is equal to 1 volt at this point it is equal to 0 0.5 volt and at this point this is not the point let me erase this potential at this point is equal to 0 volt so this is how we can distribute 2 volt across the n channel and if you see this pn junction then you will find the p type material is subjected to zero volt potential and the n type material is subjected to 1.5 volt of the potential so the pn junction is reverse biased and the reverse biasing potential the reverse biasing potential is equal to 1.5 volt at the top and if we see the bottom of the N channel, then the reverse biasing potential is equal to 0 0.5 volt. Now I will increase VDS. The new VDS is equal to 4 volt. So potential at this point is equal to 4 volt. At this point, the potential is equal to 3 volt. At this point, it is equal to 2 volt. At this point, it is equal to 1 volt. And here, it is equal to 0 volt very simple i have considered four resistances in this n channel and the potential distribution will be like this 4 3 2 1 0 now if you see the reverse biasing potential you will find it is equal to 
3 volt the reverse biasing potential is equal to 3 volt so the pn junction is more reverse biased than the earlier case but the width of depletion region will not increase because it is already maximum the two depletion regions will never touch each other and on increasing the reverse biasing potential the width will not change but the case is not same for the lower portion of the pn junction you can see the new potential at this point is equal to 2 volt so the new reverse biasing potential is equal to 2 volt instead of 1 volt and because of this reason the depletion region will increase the same thing will happen to this point also the depletion region will increase so you can see the width of depletion region is increasing across the length of n channel so this is the answer of the first part effect on depletion region when you increase vds beyond vp the width of depletion region will not increase at the top but it will increase along the length of the n channel now we will talk about effect on drain current id you can see the definition of current idss current idss is the drain current id when vgs is equal to 0 volt vgs is equal to 0 volt and vds is greater than the magnitude of vp here also vds is greater than the pinch of voltage so the drain current id the drain current id is idss idss is the maximum drain current we know this point idss is the maximum drain current so it will not increase further if you increase vds more the drain current will not increase beyond idss because it is the maximum current so id will be equal to idss for this case but there is one important thing that you must understand if you go on increasing vds if you go on increasing vds the current id will not always be equal to idss because the n channel will have the breakdown if you increase vds to a larger value then this n channel will not be able to withstand the high potential difference across the drain and source terminals and it will break down so a very large drain current will flow through the n channel so this condition id equal to idss is true only when vds when vds is let's say less than vd as maximum where vds maximum is the maximum drain to source voltage and at this voltage the breakdown of the n channel occurs so this is the explanation of the second part now let us talk about jfat as a current source you can see when vds is greater than vp id is equal to idss and this condition is also satisfied then we can say that we can say that jfat is acting as a constant current source a constant current source having the value equal to i d s s and this potential difference the voltage is equal to vds which is greater than pinch of voltage so in this way you can use jfat as a constant current source you can see this is the constant current source so this is all for this lecture if you want to ask anything you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one